Here we're going to look at some of the physical attributes of cannabis with the anatomy and morphology, which are basically referring to what you can physically see here. Now, the terms anatomy and morphology are basically interchangeable. Anatomy is the basic structure of an organism, and morphology is the relationship of the organism and their structure. So we're not going to really spend too much time on any of the specifics. So for our purposes, these are basically interchangeable terms. Because we're looking at the relation of the structures and the function here. Major structures are presented as titles, and the functions are provided in the descriptions. So starting with the shoot and root systems, the plant morphology pertains to the vegetative structures and the reproductive structures. And there's two main systems. The shoot, which is the upper system here, uh, is what we mainly see or associate with the plant. And that can be the nodes, the internodes, the buds, uh, the leaves. And we have the root system down here, which supports the upper gr growing portion. Now there's lateral roots, there's tap roots, and also very important root hairs. Starting with the roots here, they're responsible for absorbing water and minerals. We see a bunch of roots here in a, in a um, propagator. They're also important for anchoring the plant to allow for upright growth, and they store food that is synthesized in the leaves. So roots have a very important function, despite them mostly being below ground and oftentimes not seen by growers. The stems are support the, their structures that support the leaves, and they allow the leaves to take best advantage on capturing light energy. They also conduct water and minerals absorbed by the roots in the leaves, and they can also store food and water in their tissues. We see kind of a cutaway section here, uh, and the exact stem structure may differ depending on what portion of the plant you're talking about or how old that tissue may be. Meristems are the regions of sites of high cell division. Uh, the apical meristem are the shoot uh, meristems and located at the top of the plant. So you can see an apical meristem here, here, you see all of our meristematic tissues of the shoots up here. This most likely be the apical if you're growing a plant in one single way. Uh, these could be laterals uh, here based on the different pruning methods. Keep in mind there's also meristems in the roots and they occur at the very tips of the ever-growing roots. Here's a quick stem anatomy. We have our nodes which are a site here where our leaves attach, the petioles attach, and then our internodes, and that's the distance between those two nodes. Some growers may talk about um, keeping short internodes, and that's keeping the area here, or the amount of stem between your leaves, where they attach to the stem as short as possible. This can be important for a variety of reasons. Plants that have a long internodes tend to be very wispy uh, and can break easily. The leaf structure are responsible for capturing light to aid in the production of food or sugars in the plant. We can see here a nice uh, leaf structure and a pretty dense canopy. Within there, um, or supporting those leaves, we have a vascular tissue that is, occurs in the stems and also the leaves. They transport water and nutrients to the plant, and they act as a circulatory system for the plant. There's two main components, and they're located in here. They're highlighted here. We have our xylem which is more interior, and that's conducting water and dissolved nutrients from the roots and upper portions of the plant. And we have our phloem, which is conducting cells, transporting sugar and other plant products up and down the plant. So xylem is water only in the upward direction. Phloem is moving food up and down and throughout the plant. Lastly, we have flowers. Uh, they're the reproductive organs that produce seeds that will become the next generation of plants. Flowers, of course, are the site of seed production, However, in cannabis, often the goal is not to produce seeds, but the chemical compounds such as CBDs, or in other cases, THCs, or flavonoids, or terpenes. Um, these flowers here are not producing seeds. Going through the process of cannabis, now most growers are not looking to produce seeds. They're more interested in the chemical compounds that the plant can produce.